continue to Thank impress me. Thank you. I'm hoping that we'll, you know, we'll be able to to see each other in the future once COVID is done. And hopefully, which would be awesome, you know, work on another movie together. Me too. I would love that. Especially if it's in the MCU. <laughs> Just put it out there. Just put it out there. Jake wants in. Jake wants in. Kevin, are you listening? <laughs> I feel like both of us are, like, the two most openly gunning to be in a Star Wars film actors (laughs) alive at this time. (laughs) Yeah, (laughs) it's true. And luckily, we got to be at the Oscars of the year that Star Wars was there, and we got to chill. That was such an amazing experience. Come on, that That was was the best. Like, seeing C-3PO and, like, BBA on the stage just blew my eight-year-old mind. (laughs) Yeah. You're part of a Pixar movie secret. It's just, like, difficult. I mean, I wanted to tell everyone, but... So hard. You know, I managed to hold it in and then... Doing press has been really, really fun. I got to Zoom with Jack Dylan Grazier, who plays Alberto and Luca, and we got to do some interviews together, which is really fun to do with someone else. What's the longest time you've had to hold a secret about a project? I think Little Mermaid might have been the longest. People kind of found out that I was a part of it a bit like early than what was planned. Mm -hmm. I still couldn't say anything. I kind of joked about it, though, in like interviews and stuff. And I'm sure like with Captain Marvel too. Yeah, no, I had to hold the Captain Marvel one for a long time. There's so much knowledge in your mind about the MCU that like no one knows about top secret. <laughs> yeah, I just play dumb all day long. I don't know a yeah. thing. I don't know a 